So this is the last part um, for this build. Um, I've been calling it the Airfix shuttle, but this is a Revell shuttle on an Airfix uh, stack. So this is how it turned out. It's not perfect. I have, I can point out dozens of mistakes, um, but I'm, I'm overall happy with how it turned out. Um, give you a look through here and I'm trying, I'm going to try not to touch it as much. I did have a latex glove on, but for some reason I took it off. This is the port side. Uh, the engines, the tile in the back. Once again, it's far from perfect. So, and then the underside tile. I'll touch this. The underside tile turned out okay. It's not perfect. You can see some minor blemishes. But for my first time doing an orbiter with these decals, I'm, I'm okay with it. It does pass. Um, the next time we'll see it, it will be on the, uh, the tank. So I'm going to mount that on the tank later today. I've built a, a special stand for it. Okay, there it is, folks. All finished. This is freehand, so once again, sorry if it's shaking. stand up here I built the stand um, the stand for this shuttle was that So the stand that came with the Airfix kit uh, was was this, and it was unique because most model kits for the shuttle present it like this with the stack upright, where they wanted this one to kind of like lay almost horizontally uh, um, across this stand, um, kind of like in the instructions there. I don't know if you can see it, but kind of like on its belly like that and I didn't I didn't really like that although I do um, appreciate them doing something different I wanted to build my own stand so uh, this stand is just a 10 by 10 pine um, I made a plaque out of styrene this is STS 51L that is the configuration for it um, and then I lit the stand with the with the spotlights here, and I'll I'll turn off the lights and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the shuttle lit. 
I may uh, I may cover up this bleeding here or I may not I don't mind it that much it's not um, affecting the light that's actually coming out uh, my only my only regret is not aiming them higher um, I, I would I, instead of the light focusing here I would like the light to have focused around there but I just couldn't get the angle on the on the styrene. So it's a bit dark at the top. But overall I'm I'm happy with it. I'm in a creaky old chair, sorry. That's it. So you may have noticed the picture of the crew off to the side here. Uh, story about these, I've had these since I was 15. And I actually got them from Kennedy Space Center. And they're in great condition. At least these two are. Um, I got these, I was at Kennedy Space Center three years after the uh, Challenger disaster. And um, these were bought at a gift shop right in Kennedy, Kennedy Space Center. So I got one of the crew. And then I got one of the rollout for SDS-51L. And that is the rollout. And that is the 51L configuration. Right there. Um, so I'm glad I kept these. I'll probably display it in the back with the shuttle. And um, I also got this emblem. And you can get it on eBay for $15. Uh, it, there was only a million printed. Um, and they're printed right in uh, Titusville, Florida. And this is actually, you get these for other missions. But this is the actual uh, 51L mission. Uh, so this is the Challenger crew, and um, I've had this since I was, like I said, 15. And another thing I used to have is the badge for this mission. Um, the 51L mission, and um, I can't find it. I, it has been lost uh, in time, and that kind of makes me upset because uh, I would I would probably put the badge here on the plaque. Um, I haven't glued that yet, um, but that's okay. I can I can get another badge. I do see them on eBay. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the shuttle stack, guys. It was quite a challenge. Um, probably the most challenging kit I've ever done, and. Not because Airfix, um, not because of the quality of the kit or or anything like that, um, but just because of the additional detail um, that I wanted to add to it, um, like the specialized decals and the f and the spray foam on the external tank. Um, I could have just put it together and painted it and been done a year and a half ago. Um, I, I took a look at the photos out of the box that I, I took of this kit. I started this kit on December 30th, 2018. I put it away for six months and picked it back up. And uh, now it's finished, 18 months later. Guys, I hope you like it. It'll be on my shelf for a long time. Thanks for watching.